All right, YouTube, we're back with another one, man. I'm going to get right into it. What is the best pistol out there? Now, a lot of you will hear that question, and you're going to be wondering, what is he talking about? Because everybody's opinion and answers is different. Some people are going to say Six. Some people are going to say Glock. Some people are going to say Smith & Wesson. There's a lot of different brands out there, man. So at the end of the day, I feel like this is another big debate that a lot of people have, and... I would argue that a lot of people um, could be biased towards certain firearms. I try not to be because at the end of the day, I like what I like. I don't really knock other firearm companies. I feel like all firearm companies are decent in their own way. Um, if y'all know, y'all know I rock with Glocks most of the time. That's mostly what I have. Um, as you can see, I got a Taurus here for the purpose of this video. And I have the dagger, the micro dagger, because at the end of the day, these are considered like budget firearms, I guess, compared to all the other stuff that's out here. So I figured I'd try to use something just for the video so you guys could see that I pretty much don't knock any firearm company. I like what I like. Um, most people won't like these because they say Taurus is trash, but in all honesty, Taurus makes some good firearms. I don't own any pistols from them. I don't know if I ever would, but it's not for any reason of people dissing them or getting on this bandwagon that Taurus sucks. I know they had a bad rep back in the day, but they've upped their game a lot and they got a lot of good firearms out there. Now, I like to judge. It's not something that I'm going to use as an EDC, but it's a great range toy and I got it. And for the price that I got it for, it was a steal opposed to pretty much any other quality revolver out there. I feel like this is a great quality revolver. And at the end of the day, for something like this made from another brand, you're probably going to pay almost double. So at the end of the day, I don't feel like that's necessary for me. But some people feel like they got to have the best of everything. And I don't knock that. If you got the means for it, then do so. Do what you got to do, you know. Be great. But at the end of the day, you know, I don't feel like it's necessary for me to get something that I know is not that big of a deal for me. Now, if it's a pistol or something that I like and I know that it's something that's, you know, reputable and it's a great gun and it's priced a little higher, then yeah, I'll probably, I'll probably get my hands on it, you know? But for the most part, most of my guns are regular plain Jane guns, stuff that most people could afford opposed to like, you know, other stuff that's more on the expensive side. No, no need to get onto it, but regardless of the price of the gun, man, I feel like there is no such thing as, as the best gun. And I'm being honest with that, you know, I mean, I, I yeah, pretty much know how I feel about Glocks already. I love Glocks. They're reliable. And, you know, I always have a lot of good things to say about them. But, you know, at the end of the day, I feel like, you know, everybody has their preference. Some people love SIG. Some people love, like I said, Smith. Some people love FN. That's a lot of different brands out there. It's a brand out there for everyone. So I feel like the only real answer to that is there is no real answer. You know, everybody has their own preference. Some people are going to like whatever they like. And, Everybody might not rock with the same gun, you know, and there's also these trolls out here on YouTube that they get on this bandwagon hate train and they start throwing shade at a lot of these gun companies. Glock gets a lot of hate. Taurus gets a lot of hate. Um, PSA, you get a couple little haters here and there, but I do see them getting a lot more love than hate. And I don't knock it because they're a great company, man. And they're literally making everything you need for real to the point that you could buy anything you need from them to create whatever you got to get, whether it be a pistol you're building or ammo that you need. So I do like that about them, man. Um, been rocking with them for a couple of years and they're a great company. Um, but once again, you know, most people will find stuff to complain when they're releasing guns that are, you know, the prices are cut in half. And for the features that they have compared to other guns, it's like a no brainer of why you wouldn't get the gun. I mean, they work. You know, they do they do the job for the most part. You know, have I had issues with this? Yes. Minor issues, though. Stuff that could be tweaked out. But for the price of the gun, I've seen people having worse problems than, than I had with this gun with guns that cost twice as more as this. So what is your argument there? Because it seems like when it's for the good companies, people find a reason to, like, make amends with them. Even if they get a gun that they just paid fifteen hundred dollars for and the gun got sent and then they still have to put work into it they'll justify that reason but if it's a glock jamming or anything like that they'll find every reason to bash it and make no ways of making it out into a good thing so that's some of the things i don't understand about like this whole firearm community stuff like people just 
have their own camp of things or how they do things. You know, you have like your camp of people who just, they will buy by a company just because it's like the best and they make the most expensive guns and they'll get a crap gun sent to them that they bought and they'll find a way to make it seem like because they had to still put work into it to make it run that it was a good thing. Like, no, you just spent $1,500 on a gun and you still had to go and put all this money into it to make it run good when I just bought this gun for 500 bucks and it's out of the box, it runs great, you know? I made a video like this recently. Uh, I touched up on this topic, so I'm not gonna get too in detail. The whole point of this video is that there's no real such thing as like the best gun. The best gun is whatever gun you have, whatever gun you like that you can flock to, that you can shoot well, carry well, you do all gun, you know? That's really what the best gun is. So don't listen to what all these YouTubers and everybody's saying out here because at the end of the day, a lot of these people getting stuff sent to them you know, they get paid to talk about these companies and things like that. And in all honesty, <clears throat> a lot of that stuff be bull, man, because you're not really going to know how good that gun is until you shoot it yourself. So this guy could tell you, yeah, man, this is the best gun ever. Shoots the best, has the best sights on it, the best grip texture, the best trigger. You know, everything could be said about that gun. But until you try that gun for yourself and shoot it, and shoot it, train with it, you won't really know. So at the end of the day, that's why I always say... I don't listen to a lot of these big channels and things like that. I like a lot of these big channels and I like the content that they make, but I don't like that a lot of people are always trying to push these certain guns on you that they probably wouldn't even buy themselves if they didn't have it sent to them. So that's one of the reasons why I always say I believe that there is no such thing as the best gun. You know, the best gun is whatever you have and whatever you train with, because you can only be as good as the gun. You can only be as good with a gun as if you train with it. So if you don't train with it, you're not going to be good with it. It doesn't matter what it is. You can you can literally be dead spot on with this. If you train with it, you'll be good with it. Same goes for these other two guns that you see right here. If you train with them, you'll be good. That's your answer. So don't get hyped up off the guns, man. At the end of the day, buy whatever you're going to buy, whether it be a $250 Taurus, a $250 Dagger, or a $500 Glock, or even a, even a Smith. You know, the Smith has a lot of guns that you can find used and, you know, even guns that are, are fairly priced, you know, they have a lot of guns that are priced under 400 bucks that are very reliable. So I'm not knocking other companies. There's a lot of companies out there that make good, reputable firearms, you know, that you can get for a good cost and still work great out of the box. So don't let nobody steer you wrong. Don't even let me steer you wrong. Just trying to give you the most honest advice I can give you that I wish I would have followed when I first started getting into guns because a lot of times we make those mistakes. You know, we listen to other people when we could just go off our own advice and see what works best for us, you know? So like I said, man, take this video with a grain of salt. If you want to know anything else, just hit me up in the comments, man. I'll be sure to get back to y'all, but otherwise I'm going to just catch you on the next video, man. Y'all be safe out there as always.